In this video, I'm gonna share the top things that I have invested the best money in. Some of the items definitely sit within the fashion and luxury category, but actually some of them don't sit in that category at all. So stay tuned to see what the other items are. The first item is one that I am so happy that I invested in because it is a wild card item for me because I had never bought this type of item before. I went through a massive closet clear out and basically started with replenishing my jackets and coats. And this is a type of coat that I had, again, never really had in my collection before. And I'm someone who obviously is very comfortable with my personal style, but I also like integrating pieces that challenge my personal style. And this definitely challenged my personal style. And the item is one that I have shared on this channel before, but I've worn it so many times and the more times I wear it, the more I love it because it's such a unique piece and one that has continued to add value into my closet ever since the day that I bought it roughly two years ago. So it is basically this gorgeous camel colored, caramel colored cape from Yves Saint Laurent. So again, I was really keen to integrate items that challenge my personal style a little bit more. And when I came across this cape, I really got drawn to the gorgeous color and the gorgeous uh, black leather piping detail. When I first tried it on, it didn't feel um, like something that I was, I guess, immediately clear on how I was going to style. But actually, I've got to the point now where I know exactly how to style this cape. It goes really, really well with uh, tailored trousers that have pockets. It goes really well with um, a, greatly fitted top and you just allow the cape to be the hero of the outfit so it just feels so incredibly luxurious on the material of this is 100% cashmere it's just one of those pieces that I consider to be one that allows you to just soak in the flair I talk about soaking the flair as a mood that sometimes just means that you want to wear something that just feels a little bit more extravagant, a little bit more extra. And this cape definitely fits into that extra category. Whenever I wear it, I get so many compliments because you don't really see a lot of people wearing capes like this. And again, it's one of those pieces that I'm so, so happy that I invested in because it's still continuing to add so much value into my closet. Sadly, it is warm now, so I can't really wear it as much, but it is a piece that I hope continues to add value into my life in perpetuity and continuing on with the fashion theme i shared if, i'm not sure how many videos ago that um i had really started to fall in love with the brand parenza schooler they are a brand that do incredibly beautiful classic pieces with a little bit of edge and in that video i believe i talked about how to look professional and put together effortlessly and how you use uh, turtlenecks or polar necks as a really useful hack to looking effortlessly professional and put together. So if you watch my channel, you know that I am obsessed with velvet. It's just one of those materials, materials that I think is so effortlessly luxurious. So when you marry velvet and polar necks, you just get the perfect combination of elevated and professional. And I bought these two Proenza polar necks in this gorgeous um, gray color here. And then I also bought it in this gorgeous olive green color that you can see here. I absolutely love this color. But these two pieces, without question, whenever I have worn them, I get complimented on them because they're so unique in terms of the velvet material, but also the cutout detail on the back of these is super, super unique and special. The um, integration of these pieces into my closet, honestly, has been money well spent. I've worn them so many times. Obviously, it's slightly warmer, so I'm wearing them a lot less, but they are brilliant, brilliant additions into my closet, and I hope they will continue to add value in many more years to come. Of course, the principle isn't necessarily to buy a Proenza Schooler polo neck. It's just to say that polo necks, generally speaking, are great ways to look effortlessly professional. So integrating these into my closet honestly has paid dividends. And they are also the type of top that can stand on their own without a jacket. And I know I've talked about that a lot in terms of having pieces that can look fantastic without the need for a jacket. I think it's a great hack for anyone's closet. And these polo necks 
stand on their own without the need for a jacket in terms of looking really elevated and fabulous and you pair them with tailored trousers and you're just honestly again effortlessly professional so i mentioned that poenza schooler is a brand that i'm really really into at the moment and shared with you two bags that i had bought from poenza schooler and honestly these bags were such a great investment for two reasons firstly rarely in luxury do you get two for the price of one in the sense that this is basically a bag like this it's a proper bag top handle bag like this but also doubles as a clutch bag so you can basically wear it with your arm through the um handles there super super chic in terms of being able to hold it like this as well and i talked about the fact that there are certain jackets like my sun and rock cape and also my Mew Mew jacket that I've shared on this channel before that really don't work well with a over the shoulder bag and therefore having top handle bags like this one are incredibly valuable um, in, your, in your collection. And this bag is one of my most complimented bags. I have the Chanel's, I have the Dior's, which obviously are kind of your um, expected luxury bags. Not that those don't get compliments. However, whenever I wear these, honestly, people are always asking me, where did you get this bag from? This bag is fabulous. So this has been such an incredible investment and I've worn this black one so many times. The amazing thing about this bag is that I actually really bought it to use it as a clutch because I was really looking to um, grow my clutch collection. And then when I actually unpacked it and did this, I was like, wow, this actually could work as a work bag and then proceeded to see if my work laptop could fit into the bag. So I use a MacBook Pro, which is a 13 inch Mac MacBook Pro for work, and it fits effortlessly into the bag. And I love the bag so much that I, that I, I love the bag so much that I ended up buying it in this gorgeous olive green color as well. I haven't worn this one as much because black is just always my go-to, but love the idea of integrating this for more all black looks. I absolutely love it. And actually one of you lovely, uh, I guess, followers on Instagram saw my YouTube video where I unboxed these and then messaged me to say that you had bought the exact same bag before you saw my video, which I just loved. Great minds think alike. So this olive green one is such a gorgeous color that I'm so, 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 so happy that I have it in my collection. And speaking of, um, I guess, work bags, I talked about this laptop case that I bought from Smyton a, a number of videos ago, maybe, I don't know, 2023 videos, and have been using it ever since. And it is such an incredibly chic thing to have. Honestly, I obviously um, use my work laptop on a regular basis. I go into the office um, often and being able to I guess carry your laptop in a gorgeous case like this i just think is so incredibly lovely it comes with this gorgeous leather detailing here it has like a soft um velvety interior leather interior and i think it probably could fit a 15 inch laptop don't quote me on that because i've not tried to fit a 15 inch laptop but i can show you that it easily fits in a 13 um inch macbook pro effortlessly like that and also I, I believe um i've showed that it fits effortlessly into the um proenza bag as well so even that detail there just looks super super chic the fact that it pokes out on the side that actually i think adds to the fabulousness of the combination i actually ended up misplacing this laptop case in the office when I was about to go home about 7 p.m. in the evening, I realized that I didn't have the laptop case where I left it. And I had left it on a uh, table that I was working on, couldn't find it and therefore went home and hoped for the best. The next morning I did a mass company email and asked if everyone, anyone had seen the laptop case. And when I didn't hear from anyone immediately, I was so gutted because I thought that maybe somebody else had found it and decided to keep it and the laptop case had found a completely new home. Luckily, well, unluckily, there was one full sighting <laughs> from one person on one of the floors in the company. Long story short, after the full sighting, someone in the office did end up bringing the laptop case to me. They had basically placed it in their locker 
for safekeeping that evening, which I thought was so kind of them. So luckily I didn't lose it because this is uh, an investment to say the least, but totally, totally worth it. I think it's a piece that you can have basically for forever. The next item is also from the brand Smithson, which is a brand that I've talked a lot about on the channel before for doing great quality leather goods. And it is basically this gorgeous makeup bag that I integrated into my collection a while ago and have been enjoying it ever since. It's so chic, so compact. And I basically carry this around um, with me when I'm at work, along with my laptop. And it's just such a great way to go, to go from meeting to meeting. The reason why I carry a makeup case with me when I'm at work is because I have my um, lip balm in there. I have, you know, um, uh, you know, what do you call it? Makeup bits in there. And sometimes before a meeting, you just need to freshen up if clients are coming in. So um, it's really, really handy for basically having the key items that you need in here, including, you know, um, hand wipes, uh, antibacterial hand wipes, and things of that nature. So I absolutely love this. I was actually in duty free on my way back from Milan a couple of weeks ago and went into the Smyson store and was asking them about the previous makeup uh, pouch that they had before. So this is the original makeup pouch that I purchased from Smyson many, many years ago. And I love, love, love it. It's a navy blue version uh, of the one that I have and quite clearly significantly bigger. So annoyingly, they no longer do the larger size. And also annoyingly, these two items are exactly the same price. So this is about, I think, £290. This was roughly about the same price as well. So they haven't really taken into account that you're clearly getting less leather, less product, but they're charging you the same amount. So I'm not happy about that, but I really couldn't part with this one, even though I did say on this channel that I was gonna decommission it, but I still think, look at, after years of usage, absolute years of battery, this is still, like no rips. I mean, it obviously it has signs of wear, but it's still, in my humble opinion, in a great, great condition. So it just proves the quality of Smice and items and I can't bear to get rid of it. So I obviously use this one day to day, but the old one is almost like a vintage piece now that I can't get rid of. So these are great, great investments that you won't regret. The next item might be a little bit surprising to you because I know we now live in a world where having the most luxurious, fragrance collection is a thing, but I actually have been using my favorite fragrance since I was 15 years old. And it is a fragrance that is not popular. Nobody ever talks about it. And I am still obsessed with it. And it is basically this perfume from Moschino. And I have been using this, as I mentioned, for so many years. Every time I integrate a new fragrance, whether it's Tom Ford, whether it's Givenchy, like you name the brand, nothing to me smells better than this uh, perfume from Moschino, which is basically called Cheap and Chic, <laughs> which arguably um, is an oxymoron to some people, but it just works, right? So this is honestly, hands down, my absolute favorite perfume, and I have been buying it for years and years and years and intend to continue to buy it because I've got, you know, I've tried so many other fragrances which I like, don't get me wrong, but this still is my absolute top favorite fragrance. And the good thing is it is so affordable relative to Tom Ford fragrances, which go for upwards of 100, 150, 250, 300 pounds. So fragrances get really, really expensive, but this bad boy or bad girl is about um, 35 pounds. So I absolutely love this one and it has to be the red and black one uh they do other versions but this one is just honestly the best the next item is a brand that i am utterly obsessed with and i've definitely shared this brand on instagram many many times so i am a lover of green tea and i have been drinking green tea for many many years and used to buy the loose leaf green teas from uh like specialist asian uh, shops and was looking for a green tea alternative to the loose teas that was really good quality. So what that basically meant was that I was looking for green tea bags that were great quality because most of the green tea bags that you get in the supermarket 
aren't great quality because they basically include the tea dust. So typically you pick when you pick tea leaves, um, the leaves actually go to premium department stores like Fortnum and Mason, like Harrah's, and then the sifted elements of the green tea are basically what's put into tea bags. At least that's what I was told when I watched a documentary on green tea or tea making many, many years ago. So I think puka tea or puka tea or tea pigs are, I think, decent quality uh, in terms of brands that you can get from supermarkets. But I still feel that, I still felt that there was better out there. And then it came across this company here so they are called brew tea and co and i cannot tell you that i i can't express the extent to which i love this company for several reasons firstly the product is amazing so i'm going to show you what i mean by quality tea leaves in the tea bag hopefully you can see the detail in this tea bag here you can see that this has real rolled up tea leaves in the tea bag and i absolutely love 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 that so on top of the quality being amazing the seamless experience that you have with this company is just amazing the, the, the brand personality is really fun they do really fun competitions the website is really easy to use easy to navigate they give you rewards the more that you buy and i've just not come across a company that is honestly so um affordable um but also so incredibly amazing in terms of customer service they're so reliable when it comes to their delivery obviously this is all genuine um experiences that i'm having i'm not being obviously paid to talk about this i just love this company so much because they have excellent products and excellent customer experience and i just absolutely love their products so to give you a bit more insight into them what they offer is a hundred percent rolled holy tea no artificial ingredients, hand-packed in Manchester, UK, and they do have, I, I guess, um, uh, a lot of focus on sustainability as well. So the product is just amazing, the service is amazing, and I basically don't subscribe to a lot of um, food-related products. This one was a no-brainer because I drink a lot of green tea, it's affordable, and it made no sense not to subscribe to, to, to the Brew Tea & Co. A box of these is about 19 pounds, but you get 100 tea bags, 100 tea bags in one box. You can also buy loose tea from the Brew Tea & Co company or the Brew Tea Co. The Brew Tea Company, you can also buy loose leaf tea. The reason why I prefer it in tea bags now is because it's just less messy and it doesn't stain my sink as much. So I'm obsessed with this company and recently tried their Moroccan mint um, tea option. They've got lots of different flavors. This one again is um, quality in terms of what you get in the tea bags. I actually haven't opened this one, but to show you what you get, you get, oh, that smells amazing. That smells so lovely, like peppermint. That smells so good. But again, you can see that you get real leaves in leaves in the tea bag, which is exactly what I was looking for. So really, really great quality products. And I absolutely love the brew, the brew and co, the brew company, the brew tea company. Um, love, 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 love. In keeping with food, it's something that I am, honestly, guys, I'm, I'm spending a fortune on this next product, even though it's not necessarily the most expensive, but because I'm buying so much of it, I'm spending a fortune on it. So I am basically withdrawing for my addiction to cashew nuts. Guys, I have been obsessed with cashew nuts for a while now, and it's got to the point now where I'm buying, you know, really big bags and going through these bags in like record time. There is something that nature has put into cashew nuts that means it is impossible to portion control your cashew nuts. And I can't continue to be eating bags and bags and bags of cashew nuts because A, it's you know really expensive and B, I'm gonna be the size of a house if I keep eating um, the cashew nuts in the way that I was eating them. So I wanted something that had a kind of like crunch to it, but was less, um, was, was easier to portion control basically. And I came across the Love Corn uh, Company and obviously a very different um, thing to cashew nuts. But honestly, guys, their crunchy corn is absolutely delicious. I'm gonna share with you what they look like. So you get um, 
different size bags. These sizes just mean that you can portion control much better and not overdose on cashew nuts, which often come in much larger bags. So I am literally obsessed with the um, Love Corn snacks. I buy these ones from Amazon because they just arrive so much quicker. I should have also mentioned that in terms of the ingredients, there are very few ingredients in it. It's corn, salt, sunflower oil, and that's basically it, which is good. The last product that I am absolutely obsessed with and feel is a great investment is essentially um, Laneige Lip Mask. I loved it so much that I have gifted this item to people even when there was no need to gift anything, just because I think it's such a great product. So this is the Laneige Lip Mask that basically everybody has been talking about for ages. And I understand why, because A, it's super nourishing to the lips, but also has vitamin C, and it's just a great, great um, product to keep your lips really nourished and moisturized you're supposed to only use this in the evening but i use it in the daytime as well so i mean it's just honestly one of those products that i highly highly recommend and i've bought it in so many colors the ones that i use are basically this one i think all the flavors but this one and the mango one are amazing i use it again day and night the only reason why i don't take it with me to in my work bag is because it's a little bit bulky that's the only annoying thing is it's quite bulky and therefore when it comes to what i use for my lips at work it is the chanel um lip balm that i use but when i'm at home it is absolutely laneige all day and i absolutely love it that is it for this video guys i shared with you my favorite things in terms of what i have invested in money wise and time wise that's it for this video as always let me know your thoughts in the comment section below please do like and subscribe if you like content like this and i will see you in the next video take care bye